Hello, and welcome. I'm Zinder, and here we are again. I uh, did a bit more designing on this. Replaced the walls, uh, put these in here to tie into the floor. Uh, left those there because I could. And I did a little bit of a lighting and design up here. I uh, pretty much just copied the floor into the ceiling, but left the glass here. And uh, basically, I also removed the glass edges. Uh, these lights are here for three reasons. One, I like how they look. Two, it makes the room look a little bit brighter. It looked a little bit dark before, in my opinion. And three, mobs were spawning on the lead blocks. So, it was kind of necessary. But, oh, this guy's not needed anymore. And this guy was for making lead blocks, so he can go in here too. So I'll put those lead blocks back in there, where I found them. Not where I found them. I was had some stored in there and whatnot. And I tried to clear this out and organize it a bit, but that didn't go so well because it keeps on getting clogged back up. So I'm gonna have to support. That. So uh, wow, I'm gonna have to sort better. So anyhow, I did a lot of work. Uh, this right here, this is the easiest part. This is the Tesla coils. Just there's just two refined iron, an electronic circuit and an MV transformer with five redstone. And apparently, I didn't have enough redstone. I am terrible at math. How did I do that? Oh, I know what I did wrong. I know how I fucked that math up. Don't you worry about it. Okay, so, this was a pain in the ass. Now, I don't know if I ever showed you the HV transformers. They're Actually kind of expensive, but, you know, easy to make. MV transformer, energy crystal, four times insulated HV cable, and electronic circuit. This is, as you would imagine, rubber with a two times HV insulated cable, rubber with an insulated HV cable, and four rubber around refined iron. So, that was easy. That was, that was easy. About as easy as the Tesla coils. These were a pain in the ass. I finally made them. I used the hell out of fabricators in this situation. I burnt through a ton of tin. I burnt through a ton of copper. I just shredded my copper and tin supplies with this one. But I made them. I got all the coolant cells made, not using that. Using this, which meant I had to make these, which meant I had to make these. You know... And then there was these, which, oops, oopsie, there was these, which, you know, they're not too difficult, I mean, that's that, and then you've got reactor plating, which is an advanced alloy and a dense copper plate, which I had made plenty of extra alloys, uh, these were kind of a pain in the ass, I kept on fucking up math when making these, but, uh, yeah, once again, just a ton of copper and tin, mostly, with some electronic circuits. And then, I made the cables last time. So, I got all the coolant cells made. I have all the Tesla coils made. I have the HV transformers made. I have the superconductors made. Bang, bang. Two gravitation engines. Which means that I throw that in here with these. Grab a chest plate. That took way more work than it should have. Actually, I take that back. It took about as much work as it should have. So, yeah. In other news, we might go back to making things with red power because I had an idea. Nothing practical, just thought it'd be interesting. What if I took this platform right here and pretty much made it so the entirety of this thing could rise. Then I realized it would be a pain in the ass. Then I thought that I could technically move this somewhere else. I'm gonna be honest, I built this mountain, it seemed like a good idea at the time. This is a horrific idea. There is no way in hell I'm ever going to be able to complete this in the its entirety. But uh, what I can do is take these things off Ooh, big bulky armor. 
Uh, I don't run turbo fast anymore. But I can sprint fast still. Hmm. Oh, it actually drains power now. It's no fun, they fixed it. So, but, what I can do is activate the gravitation engine. Technically, my other suit of armor is better, in my opinion. Uh, I guess that's just my opinion. I wonder, can this... I don't know, but the armor... Oh, no, actually, I know what I'm doing wrong. Uh, what was it I need? I need an iron helmet... Which, that's more iron that isn't... You know, let me just check in here. I have a damaged iron helmet. I don't know if it'll let me use that. Uh, put these dudes back. Oops. I've actually grown quite... Uh, quite attached to this run speed. However, I do want to test something. That'll lower my uh, production a tiny bit on the UU matter. But uh, first of all, can I do this or do I need a fully repaired one? Do I even know what I'm doing? Think I need one that's not damaged. There we go. Okay, I guess we'll throw you away. Uh, does this charge my armor? Oh, wow. That helmet looks silly. Okay. Oops. What is that effect? I'm so confused what that effect was all about. This is a stable world, right? Hmm. So, I know for a fact that if I do this, well, that also means that I could technically do uh, see, I might not want to do that because of the jet boots. Hmm. Oops, that's the nether. Oopsie. See, I'm thinking about it in the Citizen Joe style of the thingy. Which I think was free to attach, was it not? Uh legs uh oops oops no no I may actually wanna for one thing switch this transparent armor off toggle it real quick I mean it looks like it matches in for the most part so, but I do know there's a solar attachment for the helmet. And I'm wondering if that will charge this stuff in the other direction. At least I thought there was a solar, yeah, solar generator. That seems like a lot of work. question is, is most things are configurable. So does this add weight? And if it does, how much weight does it add? And can it charge the gravity chest plate? Of which I am losing power on because I had it running. But I could always just stand out in the sun. Why am I suffering from nausea? What is that all about? It 
Is that from the HB Solar Hut? Hmm. It must be. Well, that kind of defeats the whole purpose of this thing. I guess I can say I made this armor then. I mean, there's at least that. In other news, I suppose, just because. Oh, that's night vision. Which isn't working because I don't have it currently enabled. Yes. Uh, let's see. So. This has a use. Because it can still charge my armor regardless of my location. As long as it's daytime. So, and because of the way this armor works, it'll be able to handle me for a good long while. Uh, hmm. So, I guess these armors are kind of useless to me, to be honest. I do kind of want to look into the solar generator on the helmet, though. So, I guess we'll look into that. Solar. Solar. Hmm. Oh. Solar panel. Well, isn't that just the simplest fucking recipe you've ever seen? And I happen to have two control circuits in here, so... Yeah. Don't I have pains? I have five pains. I have less than five pains. I forget exactly... You know, I'm gonna be honest, it's been a while since I've made pains, but I think it goes... Yeah. Okay. And a piece of lapis. Lapis, lapis. There we go. Thank you. Do, 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 do. Okay. So. Solar pen. Daytime solar generation 100. It's not a lot. I mean, I suppose I technically can't complain, but it's really not. Just, really just not, I guess. That's the point here. Uh, I do want to see something, though. It's nighttime right now. It says 10. Hmm. Is it actually charging that? I don't know. With how much I sprint everywhere, I'm never going to gain any charge. Ah, 4.97, that is the smallest, most pitiful increase in power I have ever seen. Yeah, pretty much. And no, it does not charge that, so that kind of defeats the purpose of it. So, it's really funny that, uh, in reality, the Machine Muse armor set actually destroys everything else in terms of usefulness which is moderately interesting and actually quite hilarious I do want to make these one day but I don't it shows the aura values but does not reveal aura nodes so you would still need a pair of those goggles but like I said Thalmcraft involves quite a bit of stuff and I mean it it's mostly boring research, and it doesn't really get you anywhere. Well, it gets you places, but it's not particularly useful. If you know what I mean, what am I doing here? 
I suppose I'm checking to see if there's anything new added. Oh. Oop. Do I have any servos? Because generating power off of running seems a bit, uh... Well, cheaty, really. Servo. Let me guess. Let me guess. As I figured, I need... Iron out the ass. Although... This is made with gold cable and redstone. And these take six plus three, four. So I guess five? Not five? How do you get that fucking number? What is wrong with you? Seven iron apiece. And twelve. Not twelve. 13, those things. Get 8 for crafting and end up with extras. Is there any gold nuggets? No. Can't say I'm surprised. Is it worth making out of nuggets? No. I don't think it is. Oh. That is not the crafting thing. Twelve. So that gets you twelve. Versus, if you were to break those down, you would get twenty-seven. So basically, divide that by two, and you'd get thirteen. Hmm. I guess it is technically more efficient to break it down in the end. But meh. That's all I have to say on that one. Meh. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Fuck. I seem to have made a slight miscalculation here. As you may or may not be able to have established already. Six. I only need six. And that slight miscalculation here is that I need a second servo. I'm sorry, this is this is just feed the beast. This is what you do. Crafting, crafting, crafting. And when you're not crafting, you set up things to do crafting for you. Sorry, I'm gonna be honest, that's uh, partly how I view it. I'm just trying to get all of these things out of the way, and then hopefully I can stockpile a list of ideas of things to build. What was I doing? Connect generator. Energy generation per five blocks, 1k joules. And sprint assist, I'm consuming 12. What? That seems a bit... What? Are you telling me sprinting will cause me to gain power? Well, hot damn. That's funny. Uh, let's check the chest piece. Nothing increases energy. What is my weight? 14. I thought the limit was like 20 something. Oh no, that's 14, that's 10, so that's 24. Okay, yeah. Everything everything is as everything should be. I guess uh with this, I don't think I want the color anymore. I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave the thing on it though because I can. Rawr. Okay, so what am I doing? That is the great question. I believe... Did I ever fight a, a lich in the Twilight Forest? I think I did, because I think that's where I got those? Hmm. 
Is this using anything? Oh. What is the advanced electric jetpack part of as a mod? That's what I'm curious to now. Hmm. But, uh... I've got this problem where the mountain seemed like a good idea, but... Let, you know what? Screw it. Let's go outside and have a look at it. This is getting... This is why I kind of want to abandon the mountain. I never thought Endermen would be such dicks enough to actually completely strip it apart like this. Ideally, I know I could replace it with stuff. I could turn it into a volcano and use basalt, and they wouldn't be able to pick that up. But this is part of the reason why I'm thinking about abandoning this entirely. And as for the floating island, yeah, I made all that effort filling it in and this, that, and whatnot, but uh, I might actually... I want to do some testing with frames. Do I have any frame motors? I have one. I've got some frames. I can get a battery box from out there. That's no problem. I'm going to want that button and maybe a lever just in case. Uh, was it covers or panels? I think panels you can hook stuff to and covers... It'll slide along? I might be retarded on that one. Uh, a few more things I wish to test. I want some of these. Uh, these can actually be suspended, so I guess that's not really necessary. Uh, I only really need one block from this entire mod whoops, to test whether or not it will work. I know Tesseracts work. Uh, I think... Last fiber cable works. And I'm pretty sure that redstone energy conduits work. But it's probably best if I don't make assumptions. So we'll just go out here. Find. Uh, I need somewhere that doesn't have too much shit in it. Like this. And let's just take. No, oh, no, no. Let's just take this and put it right. No. I'll parachute place it. Yes. Okay, so. Important thing here is I want to know how well all these different things function. And if they do, how well do they? So. That moves. That's good to know. Pretty sure this moves. Yep. Uh, Emmy cable. Yep. Glass fiber. All right. Uh, I guess that's really all of it. Uh, let's go grab my this this bench right here. Because this is another mod that I'm not sure about. Uh, all these other machines should move just fine. You might have an idea of what I'm thinking about doing already. Oh, good. That works, too. Can't use them while moving, but uh, that's fine. I have no qualms with that. But, uh, yeah... Hmm. So. I can't really afford to make those too much either at the moment. Because uh, they're made from the same thing that you make bronze out of. Which causes slight issues. But. Uh, that does mean... I didn't test any of the Zycraft stuff. Fuck. Let's grab these blocks. Okay. Okay. 
stick them on the side for ease of use. Okay, those work. And they don't package up, which means they actually count as technical blocks, which is a very good thing. So, as I'm sure you may have guessed by now, my plan is to basically create a ship and move across the world that I'm in. That's pretty much the plan. The only downside is it tends to be really buggy uh, and hooking up entire networks of machines and stuff like this right here there's no way this thing would ever work in that situation. I mean I might be able to move one block of it or the whole outer casing but the rest of it would never move. There's no way. Which is why it'll probably never happen. But it does work for if I want to move entire sections of stuff. <laughs> oh, bit of a hiccup there. I apologize. Uh, so. Oh, some of these things do not belong where I have put them. Why is there a block of iron in there? Uh, you go in there. You should probably go back on the wall where you came from. Yeah, those Zycraft blocks, they were cool when they came out. I'm bored of them already. Uh, the ability to make tanks out of pretty much any block I want, though, that's still something I'm rather pleased about. Uh, the question is, can I make... I th feel like I've tested this before, but it, for some odd reason, I'm having difficulties remembering it. So, do I have any lead? I should have some lead. I do have some lead. Let's grab some other blocks. Let's grab some uh, aluminum. I'm just curious as to whether or not one can build a tank structure out of different kinds of blocks. So, for this test, as I'm sure you can see, I think the smallest you can make is a 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Whoopsie. So, oh. I'm going to place you there. Usually this is an item IO, so I guess I'll put... Well, I'm going to put an item IO here, put a valve here, put a valve here, and give me a piece of glass. I don't think I can actually use that glass, but uh, we'll see. I know you can't build the entire thing out of glass viewers. Oh! Oh. Hmm. Hmm. So if it can be built out of different kinds of blocks like that... That gives me an idea. Kind of. Basically, uh, what I want to do is I'm thinking that I could put, like, a tank here. Ooh, that's a good point. Can I use lights as part of the construction? I don't think I have any lights in here to test that with. No. Not that I see. Hmm. Well. I suppose what we'll do is knock out a couple of blocks here and here. We'll pretend these are the lights. 
and it will build the tank. And those should remain as the blocks they are, because I mean, you break them, you're good to go. So, yeah. And I don't know if I ever showed this, but, uh, yeah, I'm using mostly EUs to power this thing now, because, uh, I actually had an issue where I ran out of proper power generation with the, uh, the Minecraft jewels. So, I had to go to some extreme measures. This viewer, piece of glass, glass panes. Button, lever, redstone energy conduits, sulfur, and we'll put the pattern encoder over here. So, I guess, just, I guess, really, hmm. I'm going to call this good for now. I feel like I've probably rambled on for way too long. And it's all it's actually quite ironic that I made that armor, spent all those resources and stuff to make it, and this, that, and whatnot, and it's sitting in a chest. Right here. What are you going to do? I'm going to press the sort key. That's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, I'm going to call this good. Uh... If you want, feel free to tell me what you think of this uh, design. I really like how the lead looks. It's it's like pretty much pitch black, but it's got a texture, and a kind of ugly texture like that. I actually really like it. It's it's basically a black iron block. I know, but uh, yeah, I don't really see much of a use for lead because the mod that one of the mods that it's the biggest part of. Uh, if we look here. And click on the lead. It's used in factorization, I think, is the mod. And the problem is, is I haven't really found a reason why it, why why I should use it. I mean, mixer doesn't do much. Grinder does the same as pretty much everything else. Only it does it slower than some things. So. I really have no idea. Because I mean, like, then the angular saw, you can use... Apparently you don't use the angular saw on anything. You! Nope. Nope, not used in anything. You know, let's just uh, bring up factorization. I think it added the barrels. Factory? What? Those are thermal expansion things. Factorization is also what adds the routers, which I haven't made it too much use of. And it adds its own little suit of multiple armor, but it doesn't have... First of all, it has no base stats, and second of all, it only works with the, the exo upgrades. You can put armor in it, but it deteriorates the armor. And so it, I find it kind of pointless. And it doesn't have any cool mods, it doesn't have like a jetpack or anything. It's designed to be more or less a balanced suit of armor. Whereas the other things like this, which aren't part of factorization but they're improperly categorized, are considered to be uh, super armors. And I'm not going to lie, it is a super armor. I become pretty much invincible by wearing it. What are these floppy disks for? Computer engineer's backpack. See, these are not... Are they? I don't think these are the disks from ComputerCraft. Mod. Computer... Oh, ComputerCraft Turtles. ComputerCraft. Maybe they are. I guess they must be. Yeah. I guess they are. Huh. Far easier to make than I thought they would be. Hmm. Yeah, paper and redstone. 
I guess. Printer. What the fuck is a printer for? Oh, actually, another thing about it. You could probably technically print out your code or print out lines of stuff or whatever. Printed page, printed pages, printed book. Huh. I right clicked on it. You can't make anything from it. But it's uh, one in the morning, and I've I have no idea how long I've been recording, and that's a bad thing. So I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.